Tonight we're starting with an early morning fire that forced dozens of people out of their apartments in Glendale. Good evening, I'm Kariba Devine. I'm Jonathan McCall in tonight from Mark 12 News journalist Adriana Loya speaking with families now scrambling to try to find a new place to live just days before Christmas. Less than a week from Christmas, 15 people, including several children, have been forced out of their homes after a fire was sparked next to a water heater. It was around 3 in the morning when Jennifer Perkins first smelled smoke. It would be just like a lingering, burning plastic smell. But thinking nothing of it, she went to bed. Two hours later, the smoke was thicker. This time calling 911. Around the same time, imagine Jones also getting the burning smell and finding her bathroom and bedroom filled with smoke. Run outside and I um, try to figure out what's going on. That's when she saw Glendale fire crews arriving on scene near 59th and Northern Avenues. There was smoke pouring out of the building. Jackie Bell's apartment, one of four units impacted by smoke and water. After crews battled an electrical fire, they say sparked near a water heater. It seems like it was uh, in the wall. No flames were visible, but the damage was extensive. I was up just cleaning up my house and I didn't expect that I would lose everything. Imagine and her boyfriend's seven children had just moved in last month, now with nowhere to go. I lost everything now and <laughs> haven't even been here 30 days. It's the same scenario for her neighbors who tell 12 News they recently moved in. Now here we are few days from Christmas and sitting outside our apartment. I don't have Christmas now <laughs> because I don't have a home. The Red Cross helping some of the families, others relying on relatives. It's very hard, especially when you're a single mother. The only positive thing about all of this is that nobody thankfully was hurt. In Glendale, Adriana Loya, 12 News. That is some good news indeed. Adriana,